It actually started in 1958, so this is 61 years. And obviously this is a very profound year. After everything Puerto Rico experienced last year after Hurricane Maria, you know, we really want to use this year's parade for several purposes. Uh, one is to call attention to the dire situation that still exists. Uh, there is a humanitarian crisis there and we do want to address that. Second is to honor those that were the first responders and those organizations and individuals that have continued daily. And then third is to uplift the people, um, the community overall. We've been through some tough times, obviously, that's an understatement. Um, this is an opportunity to showcase who we are as a people um, to the world and then to be able to celebrate and uplift our people during these difficult times. Tonight we are awarding 100 scholarships at the Educational Leadership Awards. The number of applicants this year exceeded last year by 33%. Yes, we had 400 applications and out of those 400 we chose 100 scholars representing 19 states. And the majority of the winners of these scholars this year were from Puerto Rico. The hard work of the scholars, it was absolutely amazing. And like I said, we had 400 applicants and every applicant ranked very high. They all spoke about who they were, what their culture was like, and basically what they want to do for their future. I am Puerto Rican. I'm also one of the scholars of the National Puerto Rican Day Parade, so I, I got the scholarship, which I'm super, super excited about. Today is like the educational uh, award ceremony, so they're honoring people in education and also just having a really big ceremony for us, the scholars, to honor um, the fact that we've done our hard work and hard work does pay off. Of talented graffiti artists that have turned into professional muralists. They started just painting and beautifying the walls of, of the city. They've been doing this since 1980, and this year they're honored as ambassadors of the parade. I'm doing this for so many years as, as a graffiti artist, and now being honored, you know, for this Puerto Rican Day Parade, it's great, you know, it's like, we happy to be here, you know, like, if they would have told us, like, 30 years ago, don't do graffiti, don't do this, we won't be here today. You know, that's the reason why we're here today, because we represent the art of the community, and the art of the community is task crew. We've been painting, and we've been, you know, always proud of being, you know, uh, you know, from the Bronx, so everywhere we go around the world, we're always proud to wear our Bronx t-shirts, you know, to say Tatch Crew in the back, and, you know, for my uh, partner, Bio, that is in here now, you know, I'm pretty sure he would feel the same way. And when we're all, you know, feeling like it's, it's, it's a joy and an honor for us to be part of something like this. Yeah, I feel super honored. I had no idea that that was going to happen. You know, who would have known that, um, you know, from watching the Puerto Rican Day Parade so many times in my life growing up and being from New York, that I was actually going to be part of it one day. I would have never dreamed that that could happen. So still got more dreams coming through. You guys have a great rest of the afternoon y Puerto Rico se levanta. <laughs>